everyone this is Kesh and as some of you may know it's carnival season so I decided to make a carnival makeup tutorial um, it has two endings so I use a pink lipstick and a brighter one so if you'd like to see how I achieved this look just stay tuned okay so I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my elf eyelid primer and I'm just going to use my fingers to just smooth it out so it's even and this will help my eyeshadow not to crease and to stay longer next I'm using my NYX jumbo pencil in milk and this will act as my base so that the colors can be more vibrant and so that they can also have something to stick onto and I'm just using my finger to just smooth that over so that everywhere is smooth and ready for the shadow so using my eyeshadow brush I am going into my Santa palette and I'm taking that bright pinkish purple and I am going to drag it all the way out past my eyebrows and I am packing it on so that the colors are vibrant because in carnival we normally use very bright and cheerful colors so from the same palette I'm going to take that bright blue that has a bit of shimmer in it and I'm going to pack it on beside the pink that I already added to my lids and I'm just packing it so that the colors remain strong and vibrant and they do not fade I don't remember the name of that palette but I'm going to take that teal color and I'm going to place it in my crease as my transition and crease color and I'm just blending it out next I'm going to take um, a green from the Santi palette and I'm going to pack it beside the blue I'm going to I ensure that all the colors overlap so that the transition looks smooth next I'm going to take that shocking green from the Santa palette and I'm going to place that beside the darker green that I already added to my lids after adding the green I used some of the yellow from the Santa palette to place right beside the green and then I'm using a light yellow in my tear duct now I am taking my elf blending brush and I'm using a little bit of the teal that I used before in the crease as my transition color and I'm just blending all the colors together the same yellow that I placed in my tear duct I will use it as my highlight so I will just place that under my brow bone and blend it with the other shadows The same color that I used as my highlight, I'm just using it on the first half of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the green that I used before on my lid and I'm going to do the other half of my lash line. now I'm going to take a black eyeliner and I'm just using it to line my waterline taking my LA girl pro concealer in fawn and my concealer brush I'm just going to clean up the edges of the pinkish purple so that I get a nice winged effect
okay so this is what it should look like um, off camera I've gone ahead and I've used my black retractable eyeliner and I've just used it to outline the pink eyeshadow to give it a more dramatic effect next I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges of the eyeliner that I just placed above my lids under the black eyeliner I'm just using my sea green by Jordana to just make another line off camera I went ahead and I added some lashes and I'm now adding some powder to my face um, at carnival you do not want too much makeup because you're going to be dancing and sweating and I am now adding my blush and I'm using a, a bright pink from the Santi palette that I was using earlier and now I'm, I already lined my lips with um, the Ioni Cosmetics dark brown and I'm going to add my favorite lipstick which is Marvelous Shine by Maybelline A20 and it's from their Color Sensational line it's a light pink that you can wear every day to anywhere okay so this is what it looks like so far my lips are already lined I am now adding NYX um, matte lipstick and it is shocking pink and this lipstick makes the makeup look brighter and you you'd want a brighter look for carnival so this is the final look thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and